How easy is it for you to access clean drinking water? The answer may seem simple, but for 10% of our world, access to potable water is not available. 801,000 children perish each year due to diarrheal diseases from drinking unclean water. The World Economic Forum announced that the water crisis was the number one global risk based on impact to society. This detrimental issue needs a solution. We are the Solar Squad, and we plan to address the need for humankind to have access to clean drinking water. Our device is the sole survivor, whose goal is to pr provide around two gallons of clean drinking water to a single family in Mali per day. The system can be implemented in any area which receives average sun exposure year-round and is located within walking distance to a fresh water supply. Our system also contains no moving parts, and its durable material choices will allow for a long lifespan after product implementation. The operation is simple. Dirty water is poured into the inlet, filtering out larger debris. As sun heats the water, clean vapor rises and condenses on the glass, dripping into the outlet section. After one day of sun exposure, the system hopes to outlet about enough clean water for one household. The average American spends around $600 on water per year. Since our sole survivor would sell for around $400, after one year of purchase, a clean glass of drinking water would cost nothing to the user. The product aims to diminish deaths due to diarrheal diseases in Mali by 50%. The Solar Squad also wants to create more availability for clean water for the 10% of our population that still has no access. With the Soul Survivor, we have the power not only to change lives, but to save them as well. Questions, yep. Great, uh, great presentation. Do you, it sounds like um, maintenance perspective, it would be pretty minimal. What can you say about that with a family and, and how to manage it? So when we initially started the project, we wanted to create a passive system that, um, that just created materials that even people in third world countries would have the ability to fix. So the, our lifespan, we were hoping to be around 10 years. And the first thing to go would be probably the aluminum slats that are located um, inside the system. So besides that, unless an accident occurred, there would be relatively no maintenance at all. Could you just go over your revenue model again? Well, our revenue model in terms of what we're selling the product for, we're not looking to, you know, is this to sponsor for a nonprofit or organization. Um, but our prototype took $400 to build. What we're hoping for is if we can create a manufacturing plan to mass produce this product and to distribute it, we would hope that we can drop the cost at least $150. Good job. Thank you. The vote on presentation style. And the vote on business viability. All right, we're good.